Hello and welcome back to another video on the Garner Collective YouTube channel. Today it's going to be another TiVo multi cook pressure cooking video today. My fourth one of my uh, channel since I've been like, uh, working on it. Uh, let's go for the ingredients of what uh, we'll be doing today. Okay then, so we've got celery, carrots, cucumber, baby corn, chicken nuggets, tomatoes, noodles and in here we've got pasta and uh, that'll be all we're going into the pot today to show you how it's all going to get cooked and we're going to finish it off with uh, pickled onions and beetroot okay then so moving on to the pressure cooker itself now this is the TFL CY505 E40 pressure cooker multi cook pressure cooker it can do a variety of different meals uh, let's show you a picture of what it can do. And these are the functions on the actual pressure cooker itself. We've got a cancel, which is also got a heat symbol on it, which means that once it's done the food, it enters into uh, a warming phase, which uh, keeps your food warm if you forget about it, or you have to go out for some reason, it will keep your food warm like for hours and hours and hours and it's still like uh, the right temperature to eat it once it's done it does rice oatmeal baby food pressure cook bake diy uh your off switch there is also your uh, start button as well stew steam brown simmer slow cook and reheat and it also does like different types of meat fish and vegetables it comes with a, a manual as you've probably seen, uh, which is absolutely useless, <laughs> doesn't explain anything at all. So that's why now I'm going to help you out in this video and in my previous video as well, which is like titled, uh, was it now? The, uh, I think it was the uh, the potato one. There's actually a link in it as well, which shows you the cheat sheet which I use to uh, do my meals perfect, without having to like wonder if I'm putting enough water in or. If it's got the right temperature. Okay, so here we have the uh, little lever which lets out the steam. What you have to do is when you're uh, cooking your food, make sure this little thing here is actually on here and it's down. Because if it's not, if it's not, it's like this, you're going to be cooking food for like hours and hours and hours. So make sure this little lever now is secure all the way down. That's where the uh, steam vents up. You have the uh, steam release button here that makes all the shh, which releases all the steam. <laughs> and uh, let's open it up and have a look inside. It's uh, a twist lid that locks. The lid doesn't come off, but what I do is, like, uh, when it gets filled with all the condensation from the food, I just tilt it to the side and all the water just leaks out onto here and it's like uh, draining it off while that's tipping it to the side. It comes with a little plastic measuring jug where you can put water in. We can use anything really like a normal cup. A uh, spatula for like scooping the food out of the pot which is like uh, like in a way like it's non-stick really just like the food just comes off easily. A trivet to place your uh, food on and a stand so it's like this. So there's a stand there, you put your food on top there, so you've got two layers cooking food at the same time. And uh, a non-stick bowl, which is a good size. And that's, this is where the uh, spatula comes into play, because it's like uh, you won't scratch at all. And here is where the actual uh, heat comes from. If it ever, in a way, like uh, damage anything, we need spares. The T file website has like a link where you can actually like buy spares, like a spare, like a trivet or spare stand, and things like that. So here we have the ingredients, like I showed you earlier. Let's put them in the pot and begin to cook. So first, we need to add water. So I'm just gonna put like a cup of water in here now. Like that. We need a bit more now, aren't we? So on the to... 
Yeah, that will do. Oh, probably a bit more. That's it. You don't need a lot because it's better than like a normal oven or actually a microwave oven because it like uses the steam to cook the food. The heat travels through the food and it cooks it perfectly, keeping all the nutrition in it and makes the food tender to eat. So now that's done, let's put the ingredients in. First I'm going to uh, place the noodles in there, like this. So there goes the noodles. Then we're going to put the uh, spaghetti in. Spaghetti. And then we need to put the flavouring in that comes with the noodles, which also flavours the food when the steam has gone through it. So we will put that in there now. There we go then. So the season's in there. This is just normal seasoning. But what I like to do as well, which tastes nice, is put normal gravy in it. Like uh, anything. To sprinkle some of this or anything into uh, your pot when you're cooking. It flavours all the meal. Which is, which is good. So now we can see that the bottom layer is done now. So now we need to concentrate on the top layer. So first of all, we place the... Uh, stand back into the uh, cooking pot itself make sure it's all secure and down it is yes that's down there now then we place the trivet which is going to put all the other ingredients in there as well so the good thing about these cooking pots is pressure cookers is that you can cook all the food in one go there's no pausing and adding stuff it cooks the whole lot in one go and it always tastes nice so there we are before, this is what we're putting in the pot now, all this stuff. So here's, here's some of it I've done earlier. I've cut up the carrots, I've used uh, my special peeler to like peel the skin off and so on. So this is it then. So we're going to add this now to the trivet. It's looking good already isn't it? So that's done. And then we're going to add the, uh, some frozen chicken nuggets. No do. So now that that's done, we can uh, Check it now, if so everything's perfect, everything's in there, which you want to put in there, perfect. You've got your carrots, your celery, your baby sweet corn, your chicken nuggets, your cucumber and your tomatoes. So that's done now, so we just need to close the lid. Closing the lid like this, you can still open, as you can see. So we need to close it, make sure it's firmly down, and then twist it to lock. It's locked now, completely locked. And using the uh, the cheat sheet I put in like earlier videos, which I'll probably add to this one, or you can check back on that one, which is titled uh, T4 Pressure Cooker Cooks Potatoes Video 1. Uh, so we'll use that cheat sheet now to uh, avoid all the manual that comes with this, and then we'll prepare it a special way, which is better, and uh, I've had good results from the cheat sheet itself, and I've had good comments on it as well, people saying like, uh, it's actually made it a lot easier to like cook these meals. So now it's flashing now, waiting on standby. So we're going to go with the cheat sheet, which is like about six minutes or eight minutes, depending on what it is. So we're going to press DIY now. The button lights up, and you can see it's got number one on it. We press this one there a few times. And you can see now the lows lights come on. We press it again, medium. Press it again. Uh, high, so probably about six minutes because it will be done by then anyway. Even those frozen chicken nuggets will be completely done and taste tender inside, and everything will be done completely. So um, now it shows our uh, cooking time is six minutes. We have to wait now once I press start for the cold water put in front of the tap to reach the uh, steam temperature, which will then start the cooking process. 
and uh, once it's cooking during the cooking process it will start to uh, release the food smell which everyone likes when it's cooking food so here we go then let's do it again so DIY we're going to go for six minutes it goes on high like that that's all set we press the power off key which is actually the start key like this and that means now it's going to start cooking like that so that will go around for a good few minutes until eventually it will reach the temperature of the water and the time we put on there which was six minutes will then flash on the screen and then at six minutes will count down to five four three two one we get the beep 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 saying that the cooked food's ready and then once that's done you press this to release the steam making sure that's secure on here like this and then we open the lid and the food will be done so I'll check back with you in a few minutes once uh, the food's prepared and then we'll open the pot and serve it so stay tuned and don't go away uh, okay then so we'll come back in a few minutes then I'm back and as you can see now and here it's starting to prepare the food steam coming out the vent and the kitchen now is smelled with uh, food smell still hasn't reached the uh, six minutes countdown phase but uh, you can hear like uh, well I can just now the uh, the vent was actually uh, venting out the steam so we get in there that's the vent there hello I'm back I uh, just wanted to point out now that uh, it's now entered like uh, the timer on the screen and it's showing us now there's six minutes until the food's prepared and the little chime goes off when it's done you can either once it's done release the pressure yourself with this little button here or you can just leave it and it will enter the uh, warming phase when these lights turn green here and it will it will release the pressure automatically by itself, slowly, while it's reheating. But as well, I've got other videos where I've done like, uh, use the pressure cooker. I've got the potatoes one, which you might want to check out on my channel. The uh, rice one, which I've done on the channel. And also recently, I've done a Mediterranean couscous on the channel as well, if you want to check those out. So this is, a, this is the noodles and pastas video, and now we're doing... <laughs> We've got five minutes now, it's gone down to five minutes. So I will come back when that's uh, done. Okay, we're down to one minute left. I just wanted you to uh, hear the chimes and what happens once it's uh, finished cooking. If you like these videos please subscribe to my channel and uh, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you liked it or not and uh, that's it we're very very grateful for you that so we we're nearly there nearly there there we go so now it's completely done now the green lights come on now saying your food's done and now I've entered the uh, the uh, warming phase so now that's done now, we just need to uh, turn it off and then uh, release the pressure. So now you're going to see a load of steam come out there, out this little vent. So let's back away so I can show you how much steam comes out. Here we go. Ready? Go! And it will not open until all the steam is gone.
And this, by the way, has told me now how long it's been in the warming phase. Oh, it's been one minute in the warming phase. And that can, it's infinite, so it could like keep your food warm for like, uh, for many hours until you decide when, uh, whether you're ready to eat it or not. Here we are slowly going, slowly. That's it then, let's open it and see what's, uh, what it's done. So we'll open the lid now and have a look inside at the food and I can show you how well it cooks the food. Okay then, let's begin. Twist lid, beeps to say that it's opened. So let's open it. There we go. Get a steam off that, showing that it's cooked. Let's check how tender it is. So that was raw potato, I mean raw carrots that I put in there now. And look, completely soft. Frozen chicken nuggets. Soft completely. Cucumber, celery, absolutely tastes nice when it's like uh, being steamed. Here's the tomato and here's the cucumber, the sweet corn. Looks amazing. And let's look at the bottom layer, the noodles and the uh, the spaghetti that I've done. So let's lift this up. Remove the stand. And here's the noodles, fresh. All the water's gone and it looks Using the spatula, got it's a uh, scratch resistant. Look at that, perfect. Now let's serve this onto uh, the plate and then we'll finish the end of the video. So let's put it onto a plate now then. So there we have it then, empty pot. Uh, and there we have it on the plate. You got your uh, noodle, spaghetti, chicken nuggets now cooked, raw carrots now. Perfect. Look at that. I'll show you again. Look at that. You've got your celery, you got your tomato, cucumber, baby sweet corn, beetroot which I added from the jar, and pickled onions, and a hot meal full of nutrition because it's just steamed it only. So you've lost nothing from it. You've still got all the protein and the vitamins in it. And it's a well cooked meal. So if you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up or thumbs down if you thought it was rubbish. <laughs> and uh, as I said before, I've got other videos on the channel, like uh, the potato one, the rice one, and the Mediterranean couscous one. If you're into games, I've got games on there as well, and some household stuff i put on there. So, uh, please subscribe to the channel if you like the videos and so on. Uh, if you do, turn the bell notification on, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and uh, it's been brilliant making these videos for you, and I'm um, happy with the response. And I'm enjoying like uploading videos for you lot, so thank you. So I'll see you in the next video. So please subscribe again, and I'll see you next video. Thank you. Bye.